I want to see Leroy Sane play as much as possible. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the City Extras post match thoughts for the Burn the Game. I'm Lewis, he's Jordan. Yep. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of all our videos and when we go live streaming and stuff. Um, I wonder if we're going to jump straight into it. I want to talk about Phil Foden today. Um, gets the nod started. A lot of people, I think, predicted that he would start. Um, but he, he got started out on the wing, not central attacking midfield position, which is obviously his natural position. That's a big call, that. It is a big call because, you know, you want to see Phil Foden starting in the attacking role. Um, you don't really want to see him put out on the wing. You often see that with these type of players where we're breaking through. You've got to try and, you know, play in different positions to try and get some game time. And he played left wing. I was a bit disappointed he played left wing, but he performed really, really well. Definitely man of the match performance. He absolutely smashed it. That first goal was sick. When I first watched it, I thought the keeper should have done better. Then second time watching it at slow-mo, I was like, that was actually a really good strike for him. Mm. I mean, in fairness, he was should have done better, but sick. Yeah, he had the Joe Hart as he was in at the left hand. But uh, Phil Ford smashed it today. Absolutely smashed it. The no-look pass for the the assist that he got, insane. Mm. He, uh, I thought he might have got a hat-trick today. Yeah. Yeah, he was really, really good. And you know what? His game time is 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 getting better and better. If you go on transfer market, type go on Google, type type, type in transfer market and go to Phil Foden. You can go on his uh, career by season, and you can see his 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 time for playing for City goes up every single year, and it's going up and up and up. So these people are saying, "Oh, he's not getting any game time. He's, he should be loaned out or whatever." His his game time is 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 getting better as he develops, as he gets more mature. And, you know, definitely, being at City is definitely the right place for him. David Silva's going to be leaving in the summer and we're going to need someone to replace him. I've been saying, and I think you've been agreeing, and a lot of people agree, these Premier League games now, they're not really that important. We should be starting Phil Folding in every single game that we have. Definitely. definitely. I agree, 100%. Because we need to know now if Folding is ready to take David Silva's place. Mm, yeah. Let us know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below, guys. Do you think... Phil Foden should start in every single Premier League game going forward for the rest of the season to fully understand whether this guy can can take over David Silva's role. You know, David Silva's world-class player, one of the best players in the world. Can Phil Foden take that mantelpiece next year or do we need to go into the transfer market? Let us know what you think down below. Um, I just want to mention his play style. It reminds me very much of... It's a bit of a mix, but I really like... The, the Frank Lampard comparison, the guy, Phil Foden gets in the box. He wants to score goals. And a goal against Arsenal that he scored, mm. that's come from his desire to get into the box, pick up the scraps and put it away. Definitely man of the match performance today. 100% he smashed it. Absolutely smashed it. Is that Phil Foden's best game in a City shirt? Possibly. Possibly. It's got to be up there. It has to be up there. He was so sick today. Mm. He influenced the game. You know, he, he played, he's played obviously against Tottenham last year, didn't he? Was it last year when he got the goal, the header? Yeah, yeah. But today he influenced the game throughout the full 90 minutes. Um, so yeah, for me, class, really good play. Another player I want to touch on, Riyad Mahrez. I thought he's he's been fantastic. He was really, really good against Arsenal, winning the penalty. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's done, he totally did David Luiz. David Luiz ended up getting sent off because of, uh, Mahrez's is uh, like uh, intelligence and, and control. He did, of the ball. he did really well in that situation. He knew in it. He knew he knew what he was doing. Hundred mm, percent. And today again, he's just took that form and continued. Um, some really nice touches. I'm sure you've all seen the touch going round of, of where he does one of the players. Um, you know, and he was unlucky. He got two goals today. He was unlucky not to get a hat trick because. There was a time in the first half oh, yeah. when the ball just got played to Riyad Mahrez and it was coming onto Mahrez, his left foot on the right-hand side. It's a perfect sort of Iron Robin type chance, if you will. And Bernardo Silva came in and came in, it in. Absolutely robbed it off him. Yeah, absolutely. Stole it, absolute bandit. Yeah, but Riyad, but Riyad Mahrez really been impressing me. Uh, let us know, you guys. Is this Riyad Mahrez really, is this what we bought Mahrez for? We spent a lot of money on yeah, it. Yeah, I think so. I think it's just taking him a season to get into it. But now we're seeing like he's been really good all season, and then now I feel like he's got flair. I feel like he's confident. You can see the confidence in him, something that you didn't really see in the, in the first year at City. Mm. And you can see by today, he knew he had the better of all them defenders. He was taking them on left, right, and centre. Loved it. He he, he had one of his better games that I've seen in the City shirt as well. Mm. Yeah, no, definitely the team definitely played nice at the moment. 
One bad note, I'm afraid, is the Aguero injury. Um, he went down, didn't he, from a challenge from one of the Burnley players in the penalty area. You actually called penalty straight away, didn't you? I, yeah, I called penalty straight away. I went to VAR and it was a penalty. However, the injury wasn't actually from that tackle. Mm. Beforehand, about, I don't know, about five minutes, ten minutes before the penalty incident, um, I seen him roll up his, his shorts and he was feeling his knee. Mm. So I think he's overextended. Did, did someone say we did a live stream before? Um, make sure you follow us. <laughs> Get on that. Um they say metatarsal, is that right? Is that what he said? Ooh, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't it's, sound great from what we're yeah, hearing. Yeah, Pep's face kind of said it all. If you've watched the match and you see Pep's face when Aguero walked off and had a conversation with him, it kind of said the situation that was going on. So mm. maybe Aguero will be out for a few games, which gives time for Jesus to come in, which I'm not I'm not unhappy about. Yeah, no, Gabriel Jesus is is, is in decent form at the moment. Um, he's look, looking, looking strong and he's... He's so young, Gabriel Jesus, and I, I fully back this guy. I think when Aguero leaves, I think he does have the potential to take that to take that role. Um, others will disagree, um, and yeah, you know he's got to start putting the ball in the net a bit more. But he is a cracking player. He's... I don't think I could face watching Gabriel Jesus in another side. For mm. me, he's just a City player. He's he's one of ours. Yeah. Yeah, and he's so young and he loves, he seems to like love the club. He seems to love the area. He loves the manager and he works his socks off. Um, very Tevez-like in that, in that respect. You know, he never, he never stops trying. He's always, he's always pressing. Um, Some people say he fits our style better than Aguero does. Yeah, I mean... The, the pressing play, he has the legs for it. When Aguero first came, didn't he? Uh, uh, sorry, when Pep first came, there was that sort of talk about whether or not Aguero would fit in to uh, Pep's style of playing. It seems that Aguero had to work really, really hard to get into, into Pep's system. Um, but yeah, I do feel that Gabriel Jesus is, is, is more of a natural natural fit for this team. Yeah, yeah. I... Um, but yeah, that's, that's the one sort of downside of this game. We didn't concede any goals. We didn't really concede any chances, truth be told. And the one downside really is that Aguero's got an injury and it, it seems like it might be... A pretty nasty it, one. It's just City luck, innit? When we have a full, fully fit squad, pretty much. And then this goes and happens and one of our best striker gets injured. Yeah, yeah. Something that was quite interesting, and it's a bit of a split with the fans here, is the decision to bring on Leroy Sane. Now, it's quite clear now, you know, that Leroy Sane is probably not going to be at the club next season. Looks like he's going to Bayern Munich. It also looks like City are not going to get a proper value um, you know, some of the figures that are going round is sort of... It's 30, ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, 30, 40 million maximum, really. I mean, Bayern must be rubbing their hands. They're getting a player who's worth excess of 100 million mm. for for peanuts, really, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. And, you know, and, and now, now there's talk, Oliver Kahn coming out saying, you know, maybe that they won't even put a bid in and they'll just get him on a free transfer uh, next summer or maybe try and get him on even cheaper, you know, 15, 20 million in, in January. So... You know, I can see why some fans are not happy with Sani's involvement. Um, I'm on the lines of because he's not, he's not seemingly distracting the team. You know, he's he's not coming out constantly doing news reports, demanding that he leaves. You know, he, he seems to be training well. I don't think Pep would would put him anywhere near the first team if he wasn't training well. And I just a bit like David Silver. I, I want to see David Silver as much as possible now before before he leaves in the summer. I want to see Leo Isane play as much as possible. I'm happy for that only to be in the Premier League where it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I do want to see him play. But, you know, what's your view? Because a lot of fans are on the opposite side saying that, no, he shouldn't He shouldn't be anywhere near the first team if he doesn't want to leave. Yeah, there's, the, leave. there's a big split in this where some fans are like, he doesn't want to be here, so don't let him anywhere near the first team. However, I just think we should enjoy the Leo Isane. You know what I mean? He is a quality player. I'm just excited to see him play football. I don't think he should. And if if he can add something to the Champions League, maybe I'd still say yeah. Because I, I guarantee he'd love to win the Champions League with City, even though he wants to leave. It's still a trophy for him, isn't it? Um, I wouldn't like to see him start any games. He shouldn't really start over players that want to be at the club. However, I'm all for him playing playing minutes. I like seeing him play. He's a really good player. He's got some great goals for City. And uh, yeah, mm, yeah, interesting one. 
I think I think I'll lightly read in the comments on this. Let us know whether you think that Sane should play. Um, are you happy for him to play? Maybe if it's just as a sub appearance. Uh, are you totally against him playing, or are you totally fine? Are you happy for him to start the biggest of games whilst he's still a Manchester City player? Let us know in the comments below. And brings me on to the final player, one that's you know he intrigues me really. Is is Yao Cancelo? Um, he's not played a lot of football for us this year. Don't really hear much from him, um, and and he played today. What do you think of his performance? Uh, it was a quiet game for him today, uh, especially because Burnley didn't really pose any threats. So it, I don't think he was tested really that much. So the one time, I mean, the, the one time he was tested, he gave away a yellow card. Uh, but that's all, the only thing I can really say today that's that's puts a damper on his performance. Other than that, though, he had a quiet game, and in that in that position. A quiet game is probably a good game because he's not done anything wrong to get noticed. Uh, the only thing I think he had he had a shot in the first half which went way over. But, yeah, I mean, blasted it right over. Kind of getting used to that situation. Yeah, isn't it? yeah, yeah. One of them will go in one day. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I all right game for him. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing more of him. Really, like people who listen to our podcast and stuff know that I give free passes to these players when they first come. They get a year pass from me. Uh, I give Cancelo his year pass. Uh, one thing for me is he doesn't seem to have that fight, which I, I don't know if it's just because he's very quiet and we don't see much of him like on socials and stuff. But, you know what I mean? He has been posting on Instagram recently saying like, oh, come on, City and stuff. But I don't know. I don't know whether his head's in the game at City. I don't know whether his, his head is elsewhere. Yeah. I mean, for me, I don't know if, whether it was a necessary purchase. Obviously, we don't know what happened behind the scenes with Danilo, but... Is Cancelo that much better than Danilo? I don't know. I don't think he is. And I actually think that Danilo offered you a little bit more versatility. I think he could play left. He could play centre mid. He plays centre mid some, sometimes. Um, and I think he was just, I think he was a little bit more content at just sort of playing the sort of second right back role. Yeah. Whereas I think Cancelo, I think he expects to, to start a lot more than he does. And with Walker in the form that he's in, it's, that's just not going to happen. Um, so yeah, that, that was just another interesting pick out. I don't think he had a bad game today. I don't think you know there was much for him to do really in terms of defending. He didn't really get forward very much. Um, didn't really need to with Mares playing on the same wing. Uh, but that's just another interesting one. That's one that we need to keep our eye on, I think, and say, though, just to see how he sort of plays for the rest of the season. There has been talk that he wants to leave. We'll have to see what sort of rumours persist with that. Um, but I think that pretty much wraps up this sort of short... Um, post-match sort of talk and, and our thoughts on, on the game. Like I say, let us know what you think about the game in the comments below. Um, if you've not already hit that subscribe button... Um, go and slam it. Yeah, go and slam it. Hit that notification bell. Um, and let, remember, we do all the podcasts that's on all your, all your different podcast uh, platforms like Apple Apple Podcasts and Spotify and SoundCloud and YouTube as well. Um, so yeah, that's it from us really, isn't it? Yeah. yeah.